Remember, Bud, Laver's been used to serving into the backhand, his natural serve, and he can't do that with Roach because he hits the big forehand. The left-handers get to know uh, how awful it is to play another left-hander. Haste him. Court is open, and Laver finds it. Until the ball has bounced at least twice. Down the line. He got it. Game, Mr. Rose. One all. Pass. Love 15. And again, the forehand. Forehand. 15 all. Well, no bounce. A perplexed Rod Laver. 30, 15. Roach put a lot of underslice on that backhand down the line, but the ball just rolled. It's a very tough court. Goes that backhand with so much top spin. Labor suffered through a couple of bad outs. Now this is the first chance that Rod will have to break serve. Forehand down the line and he got it. And as so often happens, pulls himself together in the crisis. Labor leads three games. And given one, just one opportunity seven. by his foe, he takes it. So he's up a break now, 3-1. He's down again on his serve, as he has been every time he's served. The backhand volley. And you'll see Tony digging the court with his trailing foot. There's that forehand again. Labor behind once again on serve. Roach down. And now Labor down. Close to losing it, but he's been tremendous in pulling out the service game. Has he had four ad points against him? Four break points, right. Well, he saves yeah. another. Still a break point. 3-4. Tony Roach has just broken Rod Laver. The backhand. I know Don Budge had the had a great backhand, Frank Kovacs, Parker, Rosewall, but if there's anything better than Labor's backhand, but I don't know. It's an error on that one. Dude. The great thing about it is there's deception and fantastic speed, and he gets so much overspin he can produce the big angle. Went back on him. And everybody in the ballpark, including Roach, expected him to go down the line. And he can hit that slice that that hand cross court so nicely. Second break point. And another backhand. Game with the labor. 
All the way along the court, into the corner. 